guys, I'm and today we are back with Rain on Cosmic SMP. <laughs> Guys, uh, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a house update because a lot has actually changed with my house. It's not much has changed out here. The nether portal's still there, the farms are still there, but we've got a big hole in here in this uh, little bit of a cliff. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> so we got like a little entrance here, even though I still end up going this way most of the time. This was my. Uh, my uh, tree farm but I moved it elsewhere and you'll see it in a moment once you get down there. Um, we do have all the uh, the dark oak trees still there but I really can't be bothered to cut them down. How you doing? You good? It's good. Uh, we do have two names for the horses. We got Fish and Eevee. I don't know which is which yet. We did have a, a llama, but he seems to despawn because he was a villager, villager llama. Oh well. Uh, well. I'll probably end up calling the black one Eevee because Eevees are awesome and the black horse is awesome. It's my new go to horse, not that I actually use it because, as you can see, it's got 13 health points and it's pretty fast as well. So the black one's Eevee um, and you can be fish. Oh, the one with the. Uh, the saddle on your fish. So we got two more to, to name. So we got the donkey and the other white horse. So comment down below any names. I do have some sad news, guys. Um, I I don't know what happened, but Sergeant Bork Bork has disappeared. And you may think that that is Sergeant Bork Bork, but it's not. He's just a regular chicken. If anyone knows where Sergeant Bork Bork is, or if my cat has eaten him, I will not be happy. So if anyone knows where Sergeant Bork Bork is, please let me know. You're you're just an imposter, you're a fill-in. Yeah, we got a cat as well, so we need a name for the cat as well. So, we have a large hole here. I'm gonna terraform this bit, because it just looks horrible. So, ooh, hello. Are you here to die? But yeah, this is my squid farm. It's nowhere near done yet because it's I can't be bothered. But but that leads on to our downstairs, so I'll keep on moving. So this room is now completely empty. I've been working really hard today to move all my stuff from this room downstairs. We still got the ender chest. I still need to make the ender chest downstairs, but and fill in that hole. But other than that, this room is completely empty. I do need a purpose for this room now that it is completely empty. Um, so if any of you have any ideas of what I should put in this room, again, comment down below what I should put in here. So let's head on downstairs. Now I've, I have completely removed the, well not completely, but completely sealed off the original stairs down to the mine and I've gone this way this time. So this is going down into my flower factory. Uh, this is what I've called it. <laughs> so I've got a little grass area here where I can bone mill the grass and then I can put water buckets down and then all the seeds and flowers get put into these hoppers and then go into this chest here. This one's going to be my auto fishing place but it didn't seem to work so I moved upstairs which I forgot to show. Uh, we do have the tall flowers here where if you just flip this lever that happens. So that's that. We got eight from that. Cool. If anyone on the server knows how to make this more efficient please let me know. I am rubbish at redstone so if anyone has any ideas or is willing to do it for me, I will appreciate it. Uh, here we've got my cocoa beans, cocoa, cocoa, chocolate, whatever you call it. Um, it took quite a while to actually get it. Uh, thank you Raven and Jakishi. So thank you Raven and Jakishi for giving me 
some cocoa beans and a jungle wood well a jungle sapling uh, so if you need a jungle sapling again or even just hook me up and I'll give you one so yeah that's my cocoa farm and in the next video you will know why I've got a flower factory so over here is our new entrance to the mine so I kind of copied you Raven I went for the the water elevator so this one goes down it's kind of slow but it's cool so I kept it and you take a little damage at the bottom yeah this is the new entrance to the mine and then we got the fun one up I love going up it is so much fun and we're back and I put this little table here because I wanted to fill up the space and I didn't know what else to put <laughs> I did originally have a big aquarium here but because I've got the ink farm and because of mob spawn rates and stuff I had to get rid of the aquarium which I was sad about but it means that I can get uh, squids to spawn in my ink farm which is a lifesaver I still have a lot of work to do to increase spawn rates for the ink farm but that's fine so down here was originally my mob farm but it, was, it wasn't very efficient so I changed it into my new chest room now this is actually huge <laughs> and it's a bit uh, misty here because this is the outside right here and my shaders says it's raining so it's misty in here but that's not a problem but yeah this is kind of my size of chest room to be honest um i still got quite a lot uh, that don't have anything allocated to them but that's fine i'm almost full up on cobblestone so i'll probably make like a backup upstairs or something this is my new chest room and there's actually water down there just above the the glowstone you can kind of see it moving but because of my shaders you can't it's not really that visible and this bit here is my new brewing area i thought why not have it in the chest room because it's a lot easier and we got an inf infinite water source there and right here we've got <laughs> the deposit for the ink farm because the ink farm is literally right there we got the lava disposal thing so if i want to get rid of something then i can just throw something in the lava so we got the uh, the furnaces here and the anvils so that's pretty cool and we got the new tree farm which i was digging out today which took quite a while uh it's not decorated or anything in here because it's a tree farm it doesn't have to be amazing so yeah that's the downstairs i need to show you my infinite water uh not infinite water source well there's an infinite water source <laughs> my afk fish farm so that is all the way upstairs so you come out here and you have to go into the enchanting area just to get in here so so you stand here you hit the note block and it keeps there we go <laughs> i don't know what happened there uh, so yeah you stand here you throw your fishing rods and you hit the note block and it this stays up until you catch a fish it's not the best thing in the world but it's something i don't know if it's just because it's on a server and it's different and, or something but it's not the most efficient thing in the world and i still need to fix the hole that is my house update i'm just gonna get some wood to fix up that hole a second so yeah this house is a lot bigger than when you guys last saw it and if you're wondering why I've got a flower factory, well, you're going to have to wait until the next episode. Because, yeah, you, you're just going to have to wait, aren't you? Because I'm mean. <laughs> but yeah, that is the new house store. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of work, especially to dig out all these massive rooms and stuff. But I have no time on my hands. Well, I have too much time on my hands, that's what I should say. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I 
could stop pretending that I wanted this to happen. I 